it's Brie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming the Uma Beauty video. Let me tell you, I have been so pressed about this makeup collection. Like, and when I say pressed, I have been pressed. Y'all don't even understand what it took to find the products, okay? I called every single Ulta, like, it literally seemed like I called every single Ulta around me and nobody had the products. Let me just say, my heart is happy. Yet another black owned beauty brand that is thriving out here, it's an Ulta, like that makes my heart truly happy. So pretty much, I'm not gonna read everything on the website for you guys because I feel like there's been enough of that on the internet. You guys can go do your own research. We're, you guys are not here for me to be Wikipedia, okay? Y'all just wanna see me do the makeup. Pretty much what's going on with this brand is it represents inclusivity and it also represents the people that have been left out yes lord okay there's been plenty of us whether you're on the paler side or the deeper side that have felt left out this brand is supposed to unite us all and i, I stand with that i'm here for it so i made sure i picked up a good amount of products today to make sure that i can give you guys at least a little taste of what the brand represents i wasn't able to afford everything okay my pockets are not that deep yet funds are limited so I picked up what I could it's not luxury makeup but it's definitely on the high-end side I picked up a foundation a concealer two matte lipsticks and a contour stick and um, or, um the foundation $39 concealer $25 lipstick $24 times two and the contour stick was $40. So that's pretty much how I feel right now. I don't like my funds leaving my wallet, but I do like buying makeup because I have a problem. And I'm here to share my problem with you guys. So the foundation, I just quickly want to tell you guys how the foundation and all the shades work. The foundation and concealer are broken up into six groups. There's Black Pearl, Brown Sugar, Bronze Venus, Honey Honey, Fair Lady, and White Pearl. The website does a really good job at showing you the representation of everybody, <laughs> shade to some brands. When I looked at the stand, it was a good representation shade-wise of everyone. I feel like for a company that's just coming out, y'all did that, boom, 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 great job, yes. So now is the part where I get into how everything performs. We're not gonna get stuck on the fact that it's a black-owned brand. I'm gonna give you guys my true, honest opinions. I will support this brand, but I'm also going to give honest critique. And if you feel some kind of way about me liking black owned brands, then you have a problem. If you guys want to see how this makeup looks, applies, does, you know, its thing, make sure you guys stay tuned for the next clip. The shade that I ended up picking up yesterday was T2W in Bronze Venus. So pretty much this brand is broken up into several different departments. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you guys swatches of the foundation on my cheek. So this is a medium coverage foundation. It claims to be medium coverage. What I'm gonna do is show you guys a swatch of this foundation up against my skin and then I'm gonna give you guys my current foundation matches. Well, you know none of these foundations really match me. Here is T2W. The next one I'm going to show you guys is the Fenty 390. Here's Fenty 390. Both of these look very orange to me, honestly. I don't know what it is about all these shades of foundation that are super orange, but um, I, don't, I don't really like that. The next shade that I'm going to show you guys is Fenty 385. As you can see from far away, each of these shades look like they really don't match my skin and honestly, I don't think they match my skin either. What I look for is a shade that's gonna be a little bit more olive golden and not orange golden. These two shades run very orange. This shade runs a little bit on the pinky side, so none of them are my perfect match, but I have been able to use 390 by itself and I have been able to use 385 by itself without looking crazy. So yeah. All right guys, so if my lighting goes in and out, I apologize now on behalf of my non-studio setup, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna start off my base with the Tasha Silk Canvas Primer. This is a primer that I use all the time. I really wanted to use the Milk Primer today, but I've never tried it before, and I wanna stick with something that I know works. If the finish of the foundation doesn't work for me, I'll know that it's actually the foundation and not because of the primer. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this expensive ass primer that I bought a few months ago because everyone said it was so great, okay? All right, so now my face is ready for application. We've got a smooth face, we're ready, ready. Let me get my hair back, okay, because I'm too excited. All right, so we're gonna go in with this foundation and uh, I hope that I can make this work, because, I don't know, it looks, it looks orange. Is this lighting just not, no, it's, I don't really, I don't think it's the lighting that's the problem right now. Guys, this looks really, really, really orange on me. I don't want to blame this on my lighting because even in the store I felt like the shades were leaning very, very warm. But it does blend out nicely. Very, very nice. Okay. But do y'all see that? I feel like the shades that were deeper were a little bit too deep for the sh my neck and then the shades that were on the neutral and cool side made my face look ashy. Since I had a bit of a dilemma picking a shade, I decided to go with the warm only because I'd rather my face look warm than ashy. The coverage is definitely medium coverage. It's not giving me full coverage because I still see a lot of my blemishes and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and add. I'm gonna add just a little bit more in this area. ahead and turn this light down a little bit just so maybe y'all can get a better view on this foundation but um I look like an orange popsicle right now I turn the light down a little bit and I still feel I feel quite orange guys I know that a lot of you guys are probably gonna be like well you picked the wrong shade you don't know I don't want to hear about it okay I don't want to hear that I picked the wrong shade because none of them actually matched I looked at the 3N shade that shade was a little bit too gray on me so I went with 2W because it had more warmth and I'd rather look warm, like I've been out in the sun, rather than I'm getting ready for my funeral, okay? But if you look at my brush, it's gonna tell you what you need to know. My brush looks orange. I don't know too many women that are around my shade complexion that have this orange of an undertone. So I feel like the undertones might have just been a little bit too overwhelming. In my most personal humble opinion, I think that the undertones of the foundation were just a little bit too like, mm. They're just a little too aggressive. Shade wise, I mean, I don't feel like it's either too light or too dark for my skin. I just think that the undertone is not, <clears throat> it ain't for me, okay? I'm gonna use the Stay Woke Concealer in, um, it's a brightening concealer. So I picked the shade T3. I felt like T2 in that concealer was gonna be a little bit too light for me. So I went with T3 and this is still in the bronze Venus range. All right, so pretty much it says discoloration, dark circles, yes. Late nights, mm-hmm. Early mornings, mm-hmm. Meet your all-day solution to a flawless complexion. This weightless full coverage satin radiance concealer goes on seamlessly to instantly conceal imperfections. Listen, they said discoloration, dark circles, late nights, early mornings, that's me. All of the above, okay? I <laughs> Proof, okay? I'm gonna apply it. Oh, maybe I could have gone a little bit brighter with the concealer. Okay, I could have. Looks like a really nice color to me. It's got a creamy consistency. Not quite as creamy as my Fenty concealer that I love to use, but it's a nice creamy consistency. And it's very, very warm as well. So let's go ahead and blend that out. Okay, so I feel like this coverage on the concealer is definitely more of a medium coverage as well. And it doesn't dry extremely fast either, but it blends out really nice. 
Alright, so the blendability in this concealer is actually really, really easy to work with. I do like the texture of the foundation. I like the texture of the concealer. I like both of them. So, texture-wise. If you can find your match, you're golden. Not literally golden like my face looks right now, but golden is like, A1, you're lit, you did it, you found something. I feel like the more this sits on my face, the better it starts to look. Like it's probably oxidizing into a really nice shade for me. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more concealer under my eye just to see how buildable this really is. I can always afford to add more under here, okay? I do see a little bit of creasing underneath my eyes, but I don't really judge concealers based on creasing underneath my eye because my eyes have creases under them, so I can't really get mad if the product is creasing where there are creases in the skin. So I feel like this is building up really nicely. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye and I'm gonna use the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. <coughs> Another black owned brand. Just wanted to, you know, throw that in there real quick. So step three, I'm gonna use the Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Stick. This is a contour highlight stick duo. I don't usually buy a lot of contour sticks, so I was pretty interested to try this. The highlighter looks like this, really cute. And this is the contour shade, which is pretty deep. And it also looks very warm. I'm gonna use this. Oh, that's creamy. That's really, really creamy. I hope I can blend that out well. And I guess I'll just do a little tiny bit down my nose. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. It'll be all right, it'll be all right. I'm gonna do just a little bit on my forehead. I don't usually contour up there, but today I am. So we're gonna see how snatched I can get these cheekbones. See how this blends out. Okay, it's definitely a very deep shade. You guys might want to use this product light-handed because this, that's a lot. But this blends out really, really nice. I mean, it didn't dry down too fast. I know my Fenty Truffle Matchstick dries down pretty fast but I really like the shade of that. This has a lot more warmth, but I definitely could use this as a summer shade. I gotta make sure this line is not so harsh. I feel like I use too much product. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo. I'm gonna make sure I fix all of this, guys. Don't worry. Don't get too caught up in what it looks like right now. I'm gonna make sure it looks good at the end. As you can see, I've used far too much. I, I, I clearly, I didn't, I wasn't expecting it to be that creamy of a product, but I do like how it's blended out around my forehead. I love that. I'm gonna combat this whole thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this, okay? Cause we can't, we can't look like this all day. I'm also gonna take a smaller brush and go down. Oh my gosh. The contour stick in the Bronze Venus line is very, very deep. Whoa. I definitely would not feel comfortable contouring with this on an everyday basis because I feel like the shade is just a little bit too deep for my skin. If I knew this was gonna be so dark, I would have gotten a lighter contour stick. But at least you know that they they made deep shades, so. That's always a plus. As you can see, I'm looking far too snatched for my own good. I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and try to take some of that concealer that I had left over and use that to cover some of this up. Guys, I'm gonna try to do some damage control 
and I'm gonna use the Fenty setting powder in the shade Honey. I'm gonna try to go underneath my contour. Guys, I can only hope that this doesn't look too crazy on camera. I mean, I was only trying to do God's work. I was trying to do the Lord's work. I'm gonna go ahead and use the highlight shade now. I'm gonna pop that in right over here on the tops of my cheekbones. Okay, so this this is definitely a very creamy consistency. I feel like this is kind of a little bit too creamy to go on top of powder products when you've already Oh, this is kind of gonna blend in a little bit strange going on top of powder products since this is so sticky feeling. I almost feel like it's too sticky to go on top of. So I feel like this is kind of removing the foundation that I have on already. I'm gonna just tap it in with my finger so I'm not swirling around too much. This side is a little bit too sticky to go on top of the foundation and powder products if you've already set your face. So maybe I should have just set my face after doing this. Mm, yeah, that probably would have been smart. I definitely would prefer the contour stick more so than the highlighter. Because I feel like it's just a little bit, it's a little too sticky and it's pulling my makeup off of my face. Like right here, I'm missing foundation now. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my foundation, when I was applying it, it came off onto the highlight stick. This is pretty expensive. This one, this product is $40 for just this one product, so... Uh, you'd have to really, 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 really like the contour stick and the highlight stick to be for it to be worth that much money. I also don't feel like it added enough highlight for the price. Do y'all see any highlight going on here? That's not enough. No, it's not enough for me. And also, I want to point out that the finish of the contour stick definitely seems to be a lot more of a satin finish. So we've got matte going on in the middle, a little bit of satin over here, matte here, satin. So it's kind of giving like some dimension to the face. I don't mind it at all. I'm just curious to see how it's gonna wear throughout the day. I'm about to finish this look up. I'm just adding some bronzer into my crease just to give my look a little bit of depth up here. And this is the Morphe bronzer in the shade Phenom. One of my favorite bronzers right now. I'm also going to add a little bit of bronzer to my cheeks. I know I already look extremely sculpted, but girl, I don't care at this point. Okay. I'm also going to add some highlighter. I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Moon Glow Highlighter because I feel like that's going to pair up well with the base that I put on for my highlighter. Yeah, that looks good. That makes me feel like a real snack. You looking real cute, Brie. Mm -hmm. So I will say that the highlighter stick seems like it's probably a good base for powder highlight to stick to. Maybe that's what it was supposed to do. I'm not sure. Let me go throw on some lashes. I'll be right back. The only thing left to do is um, get my lips in order. I picked up two of their liquid... Nah. I picked up two of their badass icon matte lipsticks i picked up the shade tracy and i also picked up the shade eartha which was a mistake i was supposed to pick up aretha but somehow eartha she just slipped into the she just slipped in there i don't know how she did that so i'm gonna start with the shade tracy because this is the one that i was like yes we need her she's gorge she's like a deep brown shade like a really nice just a rich brown shade and when I swatched these lipsticks in the store I was like boom they're matte they're creamy love it so here is the shade Tracy and I feel like Tracy just looks so pretty it's like a really pretty rich neutral brown I'm also gonna show you guys the shade Eartha somehow she crept her little ass into my basket so and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this because this one is so light I'm just gonna apply this on top and see if they layer well They do layer really well and they're very creamy. 
I'm really hoping that they're not going to create that line in the middle. You know that line that y'all get when you talk too much throughout the day? Like, I really don't want to get that line. I'm looking forward to all of the products that this brand is going to release. I think that they started off really, really strong. They came out with a ton of products. From what I have, I feel like this is a really good start. And I also feel like it's important to show love to the black owned brands. From what I can see, the quality of the products and the, the detail that went into creating all of these products was amazing. Now y'all know we couldn't do a full video without your boy getting his little time. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Okay, not right now. You can't you can't yawn. We're doing the outro. You gotta look alive and, and woke. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I love talking to you guys in the comment section, so uh, chat with me. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you think. <laughs> you know, I pulled it together after all that, you know, that chicanery that happened earlier. <laughs> And I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. But first I'm gonna see y'all in the comment section, okay? So we gonna talk over there, okay? Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. We are out.